you know, they say you're the average of the five people you hang out with. Now, if you have friends that constantly, you know, want to hang out and smoke and play video games and do stupid things, then chances are you're probably going to do the same thing. And sometimes you don't even pick this up because they're your friends. You know, you don't want to think that these guys are holding you back. You don't want to think that these guys aren't the giving you the opportunities that you need. Now, the same goes for the opposite. If you're the weakest friend in the group because your other friend just started a successful business and your other boy's YouTube channel has over 100,000 subscribers, then chances are, even if you stay the weakest guy in the group, you're gonna make a lot of money. Ever since I started surrounding myself in luxurious environments, I, I work in a luxury sales job now. Ever since I started to change my mindset completely, on who I speak to and where I divide my time. I made so much more money in one month than I did in six months. I made so much more progress in one month than I did in six months as well. By the way guys, this video is listenable so you can pop an AirPod in, you can work out, you can do whatever you want. Uh, and the goal is 1000 subscribers. This video is coming out in like a month, but at the time of recording, we're at like 730, so definitely drop a sub. It doesn't hurt, so drop a sub, boys. The reason I'm talking about this is because the title of the video is How Long Will You Be in the Passenger Seat, right? And it, I'm pretty much getting at how long are you going to choose to be a follower? How long is it going to take for you to finally take action and be the first in the group to do something? You know, maybe your friends might look at it as weird, but what if you were the first one to start the wave? What if you were the first one to do something different? And it sucks because you get so accustomed to what your friends are doing and you just do it every day that it kind of becomes a force of habit of you just doing the things that your friends do. So I'm definitely not blaming you. But really pay attention at what your friends do because guys, it's the chances are you guys, you're not going to make any progress with these guys. It's super important that you start to be the one that gets in the driver's seat. You're the one that starts to take action and you're the one that drives the ship. If your friends don't work out, be the first one to work out. Invite your boys in. Hey, maybe they are open to change. Maybe they do want to change themselves too. If you're actually putting in motion and you show your friends, yo, I'm actually getting results financially. I'm actually getting results in my bodybuilding. Then chances are you're Friends are probably gonna join you and the ones that don't, screw them. You can just put them to the side. I think the decision maker of the group or we call it the group leader, I think those are the guys that are gonna stick out the most and you need to be the guy that makes the decisions. And like I said, you might get hate for this at first. Your friends are probably gonna call you weird. You probably have to kind of isolate yourself from the group. For me, it was starting my YouTube channel and getting a better job outside of my neighborhood. It was never done before. None of my friends worked in the city. None of my friends had big boy jobs, right? I worked in Burger King two years ago today and I slowly worked my way up by going to the city. I knew that my neighborhood wasn't gonna have any opportunity. I decided to start working in Brooklyn and Manhattan and I got some of the best jobs and now I have my best job ever, which is working for luxury sales in this fitness company called Equinox. And I make $100 per sale. I get paid pretty good, they take care of me there. And I'm the one that started that wave. Now I have two other friends that are actually starting in luxury sales, one in Orange 3, one in Equinox as well. And I was the one that first started the wave for that. I was the one that said, yo, I'm gonna do this something different. I'm gonna build my resume and I'm gonna be the first one to take this risk to work a job that's not a pantry food service or Burger King. I decided to take that leap. And the friends that kind of went with me, those guys are doing great. Those guys are being successful. And I, I have also learned from my friends as well. That's how I know some of my friends are actually pretty valuable. My friend Gregory, he hit the gym so much. He was so consistent that he literally single-handedly transformed his body. The kid looks like a complete demon now and I followed along. I was like, what if I'm in the gym for five, not five years, but he was, he's been in the gym for like three years now. I'm on my first, I just finished my first year, full year in the gym. I'm feeling better than ever and wait till I'm on year three now. So I also took advice from my friend Gregory and I was like, yo, I'm gonna hit the gym minimum four times a week because 
It's important. I see how important it is for me to hit the gym. Leading by example is crucial. You definitely want to lead by example. You don't have to tell your friends what you're going to do because chances are they're going to like agree with you or just not even agree with you at all. So just lead by example and show them the results. Show them what that looks like. And like I said, being a continuous learner, just always being open to the positive things that your friends are doing, that's going to be extremely important as well. Another example is me starting this YouTube channel. I have, n I am the most consistent out of everyone that I know. I, I have a video coming out every two days and a YouTube short coming out every day for the next two and a half months. This video is not coming out for so long because I'm that caught up. I am not allowing myself to fail and my friends are starting to see how consistent and dedicated I am to this, that they're starting to become consistent in their own crafts they're starting to be consistent in whatever they want to do and you know like that that's super cool to see and the ones that aren't i'm just not communicating with them as much it doesn't mean you have to be mean doesn't mean you have to be rude or cut them off or whatever bs you want to say but leading by example just just show your friends what you're talking about chances are they're probably going to want to follow along like i said be the driver don't be the passenger seat be the one to take the risks in the group be the one to actually do the thing first. And show confidence. If you show confidence in whichever, whatever you're doing, chances are you're going to succeed at it. A leader displays confidence. A leader shows the pack what to do. You must be the one that's the leader. When you are the driver, you're the one that's doing the directions. You're the one that's getting everybody to the destination. Be the guy that gets everyone to their destination. That's what you must do. Don't leave nobody behind. And if you have to, because they're not following along, then you need to. Like I said, chances are the friends that do matter, those guys are gonna follow along. And maybe you can learn something from them too. But the guys that aren't gonna follow along, you can't You can't just hang behind for them. You, you have to let them go. And that's the most painful part of this whole video. Letting them go, letting go of the bad you know, friends. You have to do that, it's crucial. If you want to succeed in this life, you can't hang around the losers, man. The, for the people that smoke, you know, if you weren't smoking with them, would you be friends with them? That's a question he says. Let's say you stopped smoking, right? Would they be friends with you? Would you still be hanging out with them? That's a question that has an easy answer. Um, those guys aren't good for you. But like I said, be the leader. Be the driver in the car, don't be the passenger. And I mean this metaphorically, obviously you can be the passenger. Be the leader, be the driver, get everybody to the destination because that's what a leader does. Show confidence and lead by example. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Goal is 1,000 subscribers, guys. I hope you guys are subscribing. The button is right there, guys. Click that bell so you can see every single video that comes out. I appreciate everybody that watches these videos. I will make this a full-time job one day. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys the next time.